I don't know if this is making any sense, but in my head it makes sense, guys. <laughs> Today I'm here with another review video. This time it is for The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnins. I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. So without further ado, let us get started. This book follows a girl named Alex Craft who has very strong feelings. Sometimes she feels too much. When the opportunity to get revenge on the man who killed her sister and walked away arises, she does not hesitate to take that opportunity. She ends up meeting and becoming friends with PK who is the preacher's daughter. PK doesn't like being known only for being the preacher's daughter, so she's trying to get a new identity. She also meets a boy named Jack who is your typical golden boy. He's popular, he's good looking, he's an athlete, but the thing is that he needs a scholarship in order to go to college. As their three lives become intertwined, they navigate their senior year of high school. And that's all I'm going to say about it because I don't really want to give that much away. It's just, it's real good, okay? It's real good. You should read. Before I even start the review, I'm going to put out that there are definitely some major trigger warnings for this book that include rape, sexual assault, animal cruelty, violence, drug and alcohol use. If you're sensitive to that kind of thing, then go into it with caution. But I do highly recommend that you read the book because it is really good. Originally, I had heard this being described as like the female version of Dexter, which I absolutely love that show. So I knew that I needed to pick it up and I'm so happy that I did. I was instantly hooked right from the first chapter of the book. It instantly draws you into the story. The writing style flows so nicely. I read it in a day and I didn't even realize <laughs> that I was so engrossed in the story. It goes so quickly and you're so invested in it the entire time. I also really loved how slut shaming was addressed in this book. Personally, I hate seeing slut shaming in books and it not being addressed and like shut down right away but McGinnis did such an incredible job of being like no this is wrong like you should not be doing this and I think that it is so great to see in a book. The book covers some very hard and very dark topics in a way that isn't preachy whatsoever. The author does such an incredible job not sugarcoating anything. Rape culture is very explored in this book. The book shows what would need to be done in order to like shut rape culture down. Obviously it's going to take a lot to do that but I really loved how it was explored in this book in a way that wasn't in your face annoying if that makes sense. It was just really honest and brutal and I think that it is a book that everybody needs to pick up at some point. I really loved how the book was told in multiple points of view. You got to hear from Alex, PK, and Jack which was really cool to see each of their perspectives. Each point of view was so unique and it was so easy to tell who was who and I really liked hearing from Jack's perspective because he was a total asshole in the beginning and just his character development was so well done. Like even in the end he was still like an asshole but he was a nice asshole. Like I don't know how to explain it but his character development was so well done from the cliche jock all about sex blah blah blah. He became so much more and I just loved it so much. I mean like he's still like I don't know if I love you or not but like that character development. Alex was 100% my favorite out of the three points of views though. I think that the way her inner monologue was presented was so well done and I really loved the things that she said about like slut shaming and rape culture and everything else. She was just such a great character and I think that she was really the one that brought the like awareness of the book. She was just so raw and real and you could really feel her pain as the story progressed and I just think that she was such a great character for the like portrayal of the message that the author was trying to get through. I also really loved PK and how she was so supportive of her friends and you could really tell that she cared about everybody in the book. And I like how she also developed from hating Branley with a passion to being like okay with what happened in the situation that unfolded. Like I said about Jack, I don't know how I feel about him yet. I hated how he treated Branley, but I loved how he treated Alex, so it's like a... 
I don't know how I feel about you kind of thing, but his character development was great, like I said. Overall, I just feel like the three main characters were relatable and they felt like real people. They were very cliche, like YA tropes, but the way that they developed and how their characters grew was just so well done that like I don't even care that they were tropey. Even the secondary characters were so well done, they were so well developed, like Branly, yeah she was your typical like bitchy cheerleader character, but the things that she said and like she was so quick to help people that you wouldn't expect that from your typical bitchy cheerleader character. I just thought she was great, honestly. Like, even though some of the things that she did was quite questionable, I still really enjoyed her. The last thing I want to touch on is the relationships in this book. The friendship between Alex and PK was just amazing. I loved it so much. They were so good together. Like, they were so quick to call each other out on their bullshit, and I just loved that part of the story, but they were also so supportive of each other the entire time. I also really loved the relationship between PK and her parents because in YA books, a lot of the times, the parents are absent and you don't see them at all. Even Jack and his parents were so great, like you could tell that the parents in this book really cared for their kids and I just really liked seeing that in a YA novel. Overall, I loved this book. I only gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars because I am bitter about that ending. I mean, like, I see why it was done, like it's a good ending for the story, but I'm still bitter about it, okay? I'm bitter. So I'm taking half a star off just because I am not okay with the ending, but like I am, but like not okay, so deal with it. Alright guys, so that was my review for The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnins. 100% I think that it is such an important read. I think everybody should pick it up at some point. Let me know down below if you've read it or what you thought of it. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!